All right, the goal of this tutorial is to show you how SureForms can send a webhook to anywhere that can receive a webhook, and you're not going to need to use any sort of middle tool like a Zapier or a SureTriggers or anything else. You just need SureForms and where you're sending the webhook. I'm gonna to connect to high level, which is my CRM and what I use for my email and for my newsletter and things like that. But let me just show you how super easy this is. So I'm in a new sure form. I'm gonna add a block. I'm just gonna gather name and email for simplicity here. So I'll put in a text field and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in an email field. I'll rename the text field. I'll put this something like your name. Doesn't matter if they put their first name or their last name. You can add as many fields as you like. You're just going to apply whatever I show you here to other fields that you add. You can configure whatever you want for the form confirmation. You can do a success message or a redirect. For email notification, you can also do whatever you want. I like to, uh, if I'm using like a contact form, I like to obviously send myself an email notification. And if you're interested in how to make this actually send emails on your web host, you can check out my video on SureMail. I'll link that above for you to be able to click on. The section that we're looking for is integrations here on the left-hand side. And normally in other videos, I've shown how to do elaborate things like go to SureTriggers, go to Zapier, all these other tools. But we don't have to do that with SureForms. SureForms has a native webhook functionality. So we can just click go to settings and click add webhook. And now we need to get our webhook from wherever we're sending it. So in this case, I'm gonna send it to high level. So I'm going to come into my high level automation and I'm gonna receive the data that this form submission is going to send. So I need to add a trigger. And for me, it's going to be webhook, inbound webhook. I'm going to copy my webhook and I'm going to go back to SureForms. I'll give this webhook a name. I'm just going to call this, let's just say newsletter sign up. And the request URL is the URL we just got from our tool. The request format, uh, most places are going to accept JSON or JSON, however you want to pronounce it. Um, high level wants it to be JSON. So, you know, Funny enough, that's the only option that they have here. So that typically will work everywhere. Just know that that might be a limiting factor if you're using a particular tool that wants it in another format. Then keeping it easy, we're going to add data filters. And now we need to add keys and values. That's basically just saying, what is the form field and what is the value inside of it? So we added a name and an email. So I'll put name and I'll add the value. I'll click these three dots here and I'll just insert whatever they put into that form field with that little merge tag or short code there. I'll click the add button to add another field. And our other one was email. So I'll just type in email and the names of these doesn't really matter. You can call whatever you want. You just need to know what you're looking for on the other end. I suppose that some tools may require your keys to be in a certain format. So you may need to put a different name here. If you have a tool that requires it, high level just lets me put whatever I want and then I map it. So our value for this one is going to be just the email field that we added there. All right, that's it for all of our form fields. If you have other fields that you're adding, just keep going through this process and keep inserting them like I've done here. All right, so that saves automatically. So we just can close out of it here. And now we can come back into our tool and we need to fetch sample requests. But to do that, we have to actually send a request first. So let's fill out our form. I like how SureForms gives instant forms. I've been using these a lot. Um, when I don't want to take my form and embed it on a page, I'll just take my instant form and like send the link to people. Um, for example, I have an instant form for tutorial requests that I put into my newsletter where people that are on my newsletter can request tutorials. Interestingly enough, this was one of the tutorials that you requested. I'll give my form a quick title. I'll call it my newsletter webhook demo. So I'm going to open up my instant form here and I'm going to do a test submission. All right, I have filled out my information. Let me go ahead and click submit. I didn't change anything on the confirmation text, so that's just the default. But now I can come back into high level or whatever tool that I'm using, and I can fetch a sample request, and I can select the payload. So I'll go ahead and save my trigger, and by default, high level is going to next walk me through creating a contact. Your process might be slightly different, but I am going to insert the fields that I sent over, and I'm going to do this for all of the ones that I want to bring. So I'm going to insert full name because I don't know if they put in their first name and last name or just their first name. High level's nice that it'll just automatically sort that for me. If your tool doesn't auto sort, like automatically separate multiple names into first and last name, you may want to send over separate fields like first name and last name. For me, it's super easy though. I'll just go to inbound webhook trigger and I'll put in name, go ahead and add a field. And the last one that I'm bringing over is just email. So I'll choose email, inbound webhook uh, trigger, and I'll choose email and I'll click save. So now what happens is the webhook comes in and it creates a user. And from here, I can do things like tag. I can add a tag. I can select my newsletter tag and click save and everything would flow through.
And that's all there is to the tutorial. You have a sure form that sends a webhook to whatever tool can catch it. You map the fields, you send the data, and you're done. I like this because it doesn't require you to set up additional automations that you have to go and update later or babysit. You're not using up any of your credits on any of these other tools. You're just basically saying, I have data and I'm pushing it somewhere else through a webhook. Like I mentioned before, if you're using SureMail, there is a tutorial up here that you can check out on how to get that set up. And I have other tutorials all about SureForms as well as high level that you can check out down below.